Joe Budden made some critical comments about Jay Electronica's new album that's basically a joint album with Jay-Z unofficially. And he went out there and said, basically, he was expecting much more from the album and we waited this long for this. And what be killing me is when people judge an album after listening to it for a day, you know, or, or one time around, sometimes for me to do an album review, I have to listen to it for like a week. <laughs> and sometimes I go back a year and listen to it. I'm still hearing things that kind of I missed and went over my head. So let's talk about it. They went, you know, to war or they exchanged, they exchanged blows or tweets on Twitter. But we back, good fellow sports TV. Don't forget to check out our music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. Appreciate the love, support, continue to share the video. It's the best way to donate uh, to the channel. But uh, yeah, they went back and forth. Joe Budden is criticizing rappers, and you know how people say in the NBA, if you or in the NFL, if you never hooped or you never boxed or you never played football, how can you criticize somebody else? Well, Joe Budden actually rapped, okay, and he actually you know rapped until just a few years ago. Until he started really full-time podcasting. But he says that I never absolutely mopped around on my own project either. At me, not uh, Rory. All right. Then Jay Electron said, I never heard your albums, bro. May Allah bless your career as a journalist. So at the end of the day, um, I guess Jay Electronica was saying that they were just, you know, messing around with the album. I guess that's what I don't know where Joe Budden got that from. But he said, I never mopped around with my own project, you know. And at the end of the day, I never heard of Joe Budden album. I remember he did Pump Pump It Up, and they said that originally the song was about masturbation. And, like, that's just some weird shit to rap about. You know, this is even to think about rapping about. You know what I'm saying? But um, Jay Electronica dropped this album, like, 11 years too late. You know, when Exhibit C came out, that was, like, the hottest shit going. You know? And it was no way that he was going to live up to expectations um, at all, in my opinion. It just wasn't going to happen. Uh, after 11 years but goes on to say um i took you i took you i took you off yours and it's a whole mix now mixtape now peace uh be on to you as well king twitter and i guess he retweeted and said praise be to Allah, it's all love bro i mean i'm me in at this uh, uh this is rory could discuss it all in a in a sit down perhaps a written uh, testimony. I'm not sure who Rory is. That's somebody he do his podcast with. But um, like I said before, you know, they going back and forth. It's doing nothing but helping Jay Electronica. But Joe Budden trash anybody and everybody stuff. I don't I don't know what he do or what he don't like. I would like to see him go back in history and retrospect and tell us did he like, you know, Black Steel by Public Enemy? Did he like Nas? It was written. Or what does he think about, you know, you know, a lot of albums, you know, what do you think about Run DMC albums and Big Daddy Kane albums? What's trash and what was not trash? He seemed to be one of the hardest critics out here. And Jay Electronics said, make sure you give me my credit for lighting up that next podcast episode, too. So he willing to come on and discuss like grown men should with Joe, with Joe Button. And this could be all be a ploy for Joe Button to get, you know, views on on his podcast and for Jay Electronica. Now they call them streams, not albums, to get streams for his album. You know, I am a little bit disappointed that he had Jay-Z on there so much, but I haven't heard it yet. You know, with all this stuff going on, birthday just passed and the corona stuff, I'm going to sit down, hook up my speakers, and I'm, I'm going to take, take a listen to it um, soon. But I was, I was expecting to hear more of him or just have, you know, little features as possible on some J. Cole stuff. And also, if you peep game, he said, Drake is my spirit animal. I don't, that got deleted. I don't really understand that. I know a spirit animal, you know, spirit animal is something that's supposed to protect you. I don't know what the hell it is. So I don't get why he said Drake is my spirit animal or nothing like that and why he dragged him into it. But, um, or we're just trying to be comedy, but he can rap. But he's a prime example of having penmanship, but, you know, not crossing, not having commercial appeal. Now, if he tried, can he have commercial appeal? Probably so, but it's probably a little bit too late for it. But a lot of stuff that he say is not what people are trying to hear at this point. That album was for guys like hip hop historian or hardcore rap historians like me. You know what I'm saying? Like guys that really like real rap. Now it's a time for real rap, and it's a time for you know for for club rap. You can go to the club. You're not gonna play no J Electronica. You're probably not going to play a Jay-Z beat. You're going to be listening to Lil Baby, The Baby, Young Thug, 
That's what people in the club want to hear. You know, if you're working out, you probably going to want to hear a little bit of tempo stuff. Sometimes you might just be on a different tune. You want to listen to JL Electronica and all of that. But it's a time and place for everything in rap. It's always been rap, rap, whack rappers. MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice. You can just keep going on and on. You know, they just had the, the dope melodies. Melody. And they just had a dope song. You know, but it's a prime example of, you know, having penmanship and not being popular. You know, this this album should have came out in 09. Really, it's, you know, he is more the 90s album. You know, 90s style. He's an old, older rapper with an older style. You know, but... Joe's entitled to his opinion. I think this sounds a little bit uh, premeditated. Something that they did for to get him streams and get Joe Button views and something. They said, hey, hey, put my shit up. We can act like this fake rap beef. We can sit down and show these young dudes how to handle it. That's kind of what it sounds like to me. But at the end of the day, Joe Button album wasn't that probably good. If I ain't never heard it, it wasn't good. All right. I don't, only thing I remember coming off the album was Pump Pump It Up. All right, but let me know what you guys think. Appreciate everybody for checking in. Don't forget we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you got business questions, inquiry, response, ship, video requests, keep sharing the videos. Want to make a donation, cash out, PayPal in the description. Best way to donate is share the video. Check our music entertainment playlist for more videos like this. Let me know what you guys think about the tweets, Drake's My Spirit Animal, and all that other ish. One time for the one time, Goodfellas Sports.